Garfield. Hello, I am the Irish guy and welcome to Football Origins. This is your monthly recap of everything that's gone on in the footballing world over the last month. This, this is the February edition. Alright, strap yourself in because it's been a really weird, weird month. Are you ready? Right, let's go. This season has been about three high-profile Premier League stars with their tabloid pages filled to the brim with updates on the current troublesome state of their careers. Right, thanks for doing this interview. So how are you feeling right now? I'm never gonna play for Man United or England ever again. Okay, and what about you? My Manchester City career is over. I'm just waiting for them to tell me to clear up my locker this summer. Okay, so what do you think was the turning point in your season? <sighs> Young boys. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, it was the only game where Ollie would give me 90 minutes this season. What? The Champions League returned this month. Ala, there's only been one stunning breakout team on the cusp of everyone's lips so far this campaign. Oh, mate, have you seen Ajax this season under Eric Ten Hag? They're absolutely doing bits, scoring loads of goals. What a team. Well, Ajax, pff, it's just a one-man team, mate. It's all Deuce and Tadic. You might as well call them DTFC. I wouldn't. February kicked off with the Old Firm Derby, where Celtic crushed Rangers like an ant. And it's fair to say there was a bit of a mixed reception when the Europa League draw was then made. No, no, not Dortmund. We're going to be eaten alive. Oh yes, get in, mate. We got Bodo forward slash glimped. What is this, some sort of Wi-Fi password? Uh, I don't know, mate. I think they're, they're pretty good. Just ask this Roma fan. 6-1! 6-1! So many Norwegians! 6-1! No way, trust me. We're not losing to a team from Norway. Jude Bellingham is one of England's big hopes. Although during the Rangers match, television angles showed him losing his temper at a certain teammate for misplacing a pass. I mean, hopefully that unsavory incident didn't leave behind any emotional trauma for either player. Alright, Stuart, so how did the Rangers game go? Mate, they can't even pass the ball. The f***ing awful. I can't do this anymore. Uh, come on, come on, Jude. Rela relax, mate. Come on, look. I got us a DVD to watch tonight. Come on. What's this? Oh mate, come on, it's Django Unchained. Look, it's look, it's got Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio plays Calvin Candy. Uh, Jamie Foxx as Django. And who's this guy? Oh, this is, um, his name is Dr. Sh Schultz. Hey Nico, Schultz, pass. Okay Jude, will do. What kind of f***ing pass is that? You f***ing stupid tw It's a simple f***ing pass. They lose that. Oh, I can't wait to get a move to Man City. Oh, oh! It's a phone call from Manchester. Hello? Uh, Pep? Hello, now, Erling. Now, I'd just like to say I'm an old friend of your dad's, alright? Uh, oh. Uh, I'd just like to say now, after watching that result on the telly, your career now is about as busted as your dad's left knee. <laughs> Try Sunderland on the phone. Ah, tell them they can get f***ed! <sighs> Not going back to leaving Sunderland, are they mad? <sighs> I hate Michael Richards. Rising Premier League footballers can be overwhelmed with fame, fortune and celebrity. Hopefully these players stay grounded and don't lose touch with reality. Hello? Hello, can I speak to Mason please? Oh, okay. Mason! Yeah, okay, okay, I'll just be, I'll just be two minutes. Uh, hello? Oh, hi Mason, my son's a big Chelsea fan. C could I get an autograph, please? Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, let me just get a pen. Oh, cheers, mate. Ah, oh, Mason, what a great guy. Christian Eriksen was finally given a lifeline back into football. Although, it's fair to say he was keen to do his homework and research on his little-known new club. Hey, Ivan, mate. Hey, Christian Eriksen here. Listen, I'm thinking of signing for Brentford. What can you tell me about the club? Hi, Chris. Yeah, f*** Brentford. Ha! 
Brentford! F*** off, Brentford! The horoscopes in February will tell you that it can be quite a contentious and perhaps irritable month at times, but certain people may be airing their grievances. Oh man, I hate Greenwood! Why? Because it doesn't go with the carpet, it makes this place look like a goddamn treehouse! Yeah, true. Newcastle United were club flexing their transfer muscle, but without an actual sporting director at the helm, I'm guessing their transfer policy was just inspired by whatever film they'd rented from HMV. Right, so let's see what we've got to watch tonight then. Right, interesting. Hello, can I get the number for Brighton's chairman please? Right, okay. Hello, can I get the number for the sporting director of Aston Villa please? Right, looks pretty good. Hello, can I get the number for Burnley FC, please? Right, let's see then. Hello, can I get the number for the local therapist, please? <laughs> Losing Chris Wood was a blow, and surely no European gold machine with pedigree would ever want to sign for Burnley, but after extensive scouring, Sean Dyche finally stumbled upon the only prolific striker who weirdly wanted to join. W W, my star, my perfect silence. W W, I mean, who do you reckon that is? You know, Woodrow Wilson, Willy Wonka, Wout Weghorst. <laughs> you got me. Real Madrid are always on the hunt for the next big superstar. And so this month, Florentino Perez was sniffing around a teenage hotshot from Palmeiras. Yes. Yes. Oh my, this is amazing. Florentino, are you looking at teenagers on the internet again? Hey, how come he's allowed to do it? Get out, Gil. Hello, Alberto? I found our next Galactico. Listen up, the next football sensation. Get me Endrick. Hello everyone, I am so excited to announce a new signing. Uh, wait, no, no what? Who, who are you? My name is Jeff. Oh mate, we wanted Jeff Hendrick last summer. Ah, uh, really? Ah, uh, no. Kurt Zuma was at the center of a controversy this month after a scandal on social media, forcing people to wonder what possessed him to act in such a brainless way. Hey Kurt, so I was thinking we could, uh, you know, watch a film this afternoon. Uh, what do you think about this film? I I've heard really good things. So, uh, what did you think? I just spent two hours watching James Corden as a cat. I feel like being sick in my mouth. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's it was a good film, right? If I wanted to see Judy Dench with fur on her face, I'd open her coffin in 12 years time. Oh, so you didn't like it, no? Did you enjoy seeing Jason Derulo licking his crotch in a sink? Hey, come on, man. They cast Gandalf as a tabby. What's not to love? No, it was stupid. It was awful. I'm angry. Hey, Kurt, where are you going? Oh, you'll see. You'll all see. <sighs> Something tells me. <laughs> he really loves that film. <sighs> the public were furious. Twitter was up in arms, outraged by what they'd seen from Zuma. I mean, th the truth is, this man was never able to escape the reminders of what he'd done. <laughs> hey, Kurt, please tell me you're not scrolling through Twitter again. Yeah, Louis Threw just told me he wants to shove my face in a bowl of kitty litter. Okay. Yeah, and Gabby Logan is threatening to stick a tin of whiskers down my throat. Right? I'm even being cuddled by Thug Dad! Oh, come on, mate, stop worrying about it, okay? Uh, take your mind off it. Put away Twitter. Come on, let's just 
Let's just watch some Netflix. Uh, just try to think about something else. <laughs> this this looks pretty good. Look, it's trending on Netflix. <laughs> Everton pulled off a big name double transfer with the arrivals of two monster midfielders from Manchester United and Tottenham. <laughs> I can't help but feel that the 40 million pound acquisition of the latter was due to crossed wires somewhere at boardroom level. Oh man, I absolutely hate transfer deadline day. We need transfers, or we're not gonna stay up. I know, yeah, transfer deadline day. <laughs> Always the worst, isn't it? Uh, oh, we've got Danny Van de Beek on loan. Is there anything else you need, or? Oh man, you know what, it's seven o'clock. I'm actually pretty hungry. Why don't you just go across the road and just get me some chicken wedges or something? Yeah. You know what section they're in, right? The, the deli? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you listening to me? Oh, uh, sorry, what? Deli! Now! Go! Quick! Okay, okay, I'm going! Christ, I'm so hungry! Uh, I'm sorry, what, what's this? Hey, look, boss, look at these. Uh, I've got deli. Sorry, what? No, I, I, I just went to the hot food section in Tesco's. Oh, uh, okay. Where's my chicken nuggets? Hey, no, mate, come on, he's a, he's a 40 million pound bargain. Look, he's got, you know, 7 million followers on, on Instagram. Oh, come on, look at him, he's a love I didn't want to be. I mean, come on, what has he actually done in the last three years? Um, I got off with Pep's daughter behind a bush. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, I don't think anyone at Tottenham were too bothered to lose the guy. Well, except Eric Dyer, obviously. We'll be together again one day, my prince. <laughs> <sighs> Southampton were really quiet in the transfer window, but they did identify one player they wanted to drag through the door at the last minute. I know there's only two more days of the transfer window left. What do you think? What, what, what should we do this weekend? You know what, mate? I've been mulling it over all day. I think we should just go out and get willy. Say no more, I've got the grinder app, two strawberry cocktails, and two tickets to see Elton John. Oh, uh, no, I, I just meant let's go and sign Willy Caballero. We're a bit short on goalkeepers right now. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I meant that too, yeah. Need another, another goalkeeper. I, I, I also have a wife. Oh, nah, yeah, me, me too. Okay. Yeah, Willy punts. That's what you're all subscribing for. I'm sorry. Following on from the success of The Last Dance, there was an influx of mainstream celebrity documentaries over the last month, offering insights into the world of competitive fame, allowing us all tips on how we should live our life. What did you take away from each documentary? Right. 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 Okay. Um, uh, I guess I'm off to join my sister in the bath. I mean, speaking of the ruining documentary, it was a fascinating glimpse into the psyche of a sporting icon, offering him a platform to finally own up to his own shortcomings. Ah, shame some people didn't think so. Hello? Hello, mate, it's Steve here. I hope you're sitting down for this. Wayne Rooney just publicly admitted that he purposefully stamped on John Terry's foot. <laughs> When was it? Ah, uh, 16 years ago. And this monster has been on the loose ever since? What's to say he's not out there now beating a postman to death with a sledgehammer? I, I mean, he, he's, he's probably not doing that. But, but listen, get this, okay? He said he wore especially long studs. <laughs> long studs? What a criminal beast! Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Oh, we have, to, we have to send him a warning in the post. Yeah, could do. The only thing, he is retired and, and no longer wears studs. No, no, shut up, no, you tell him. If he does this again, he's getting a 10 match ban. Right, okay. Do you reckon we should also ban Kurt Zuma for volleying cats across the kitchen? Nah. The month ended with a pivotal game. For Manchester City traveling to Goodison Park for a tense clash with Everton, it's fair to say the Everton fans weren't too pleased with the refereeing decisions. No, I don't care, it's not good enough. It is, his real name's Liam. Oh wait, actually, yeah, yeah you're right, it is. 
anyway, that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below what football origins do you want me to see next, all right? Obviously, March 1 is coming up. Let me know what topics you want me to cover. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll talk to you in a while. <sighs> Young boys. <laughs> <laughs> Just because <laughs> 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 <laughs>